Josh Giddy had that whole thing where he was allegedly dating a high school junior. And the NBA were looking at it, but the police didn't press charges. So they basically said, well, we'll just go with what the police are going with and we're not going to, you know, have any movement around this. Did he know? Yeah, I think he did know. Well, I, I'm not going to say that. I, I mean, I don't, I don't know all the details around this. But from what I understand, it was whatever consensual means in that world. I don't know what the, you know, what the age of consent is, where he was, or whatever else. Because sometimes the age of consent is a little bit, you know, because he's not I that old. He's it, not that old himself. It's not like he's right. like 40. He's like what 22 or something. Right. I heard in in Florida, the age of consent was 16. Yeah. You have a lot of southern states like that. So this is the other thing. I have only daughters. And he's 21, by the way. Right. I have only daughters. So I take this, you know, I'm not making light of it. But let me, let me, let me hit you with this one. In high school, right? If you graduate high school and you're dating a sophomore, by the time you're 21 years old, she's a senior. Right. He was 21. The girl was 15 or 16 oh. at the time. In California, which is where it was done, I looked this up, the age of consent is 18. But I guess since the family or the girl weren't cooperating or whatever else and police didn't step in, he's been given a pass. But what people are saying is they're comparing it to the John Morant situation, meaning that John Morant wasn't you know, charged or whatever else, and the NBA let him have it. Whereas this guy has a very questionable situation and the NBA is looking the other way. Because love and guns are two different things. <laughs> love for guns is two different things. Is like, it love or is it lust? I mean, you know, and, and can Elvis you really Presley, fall in love with I'm a, always with a 15 hit you year with, old? I mean, I'm going to tell you, Elvis Presley was 19 years old dating a 14 year old. Well, no, no. You're talking about the, the Priscilla Presley situation. Yeah. They, they met when, when she was younger, but they got married when she was like 19 or 20 or something. They were dating when she was 14. That's the rumor. She She's uh, denied it, but we, we don't know. So, it, it was a little weird, though. I, I, I'll i right. give you that. And and this is another thing. It's always been, like, I, I, I see so many things kicking in now, and I'm not saying, and I have to, I have to be, you know, I have to make sure the words are coming out of my mouth I'm trying to explain, but I remember in high school, man, there was those girls who were only dating those dudes who could pick them up in the car. No, I got it. And it's it's always, not saying it's right, not saying it's wrong, but it's, it's always, always been, been that. It's well, always. you've always had younger women with older men. Right. That's been across the board since the dawn of time. Exactly. I get it. But at the end of the day, laws are laws. Laws are laws. You know, yes, you could be 19, and dating a 17-year-old because you guys were high school sweethearts and you just happened to be, you know, two grades higher. But at the point that you turn 18 and she's still 16, well, at that point, it becomes illegal. So that you make, have to make some decisions in your life. You know, Dick, Dick Gregory said, just because it's a law doesn't make it right. True, true. And like I said, he's 21. He's not that old, but... And they're saying the girl was 15 or 16, so maybe he was about 19 at the time. And you know what I'm saying? It was it was one of those things. But all I'm saying is they threw the book at Ja. Yeah. It was two different things. It was two different things. Right. But they threw I, the I, book at him. Two and, different... and Ja had no criminal charges. Right. But there is a different thing to... Uh, we had such bad experience with gunplay in the NBA. 